Hello, I'm Matt, aka Madge, and welcome to Rune Legion, a uh, RuneScape private server owned and operated by the wonderful Legion and Jax. This is going to be a long-running series where I do the things you guys want me to see me done. Um, this will be completely audience-orientated, meaning that you guys leave comments in the comment section below, and I will pick through them and see what is worth doing that you guys would like me to see done. I've wanted to do this kind of series for a while and I just recently have gotten the motivation to do it. The only thing I'm missing in this series is a goal. See, that this series will not never end without a goal, so I need one of those as well. So also leave in your comment what a goal should be. And uh, I will choose from that and see what the goal of the series will be. But uh, let's get started in the episode. Today, I will be showing around the server at home and around the other training places and what we got on this server. The server has many customs, like several, like a lot of them. And uh, I will start training today because you can't do anything without a bit of levels, right? Alright, let's get started. Alright, so this is home. There's a lot of things to do here. You can kill these monkeys for mystery boxes, which can give you an assortment of things, as well as like customs and such. But I uh, would not advise this unless you have at least 43 prayer, because these things hit pretty well. Um, this is thieving stalls. This is where you'd get your bones, first of all, because uh, you'd get it at 80. The magic stall gives you noted dragon bones, which is always good. And just sell your junk here because that's that's just a general store. Okay, so skill cape. That's all your skill capes. This is your point exchanger. You can prestige here as well as like where you'd spend your prestigious points for like the eleventh uh, prestige cape, which is this bad boy right here. As long as it was long along with the sign, because. This sounds pretty epic, right? <laughs> Anyways, this is the pure shop where you get all your pure stuff. Not much PV PvP in here on the server yet because it's pretty new. Um, this is just your armors all the way up to a rune, I believe. Rock, mm, rock shell, but that really doesn't count. Debatable, at least. This is your weapons all the way up to like a few customs along with, along with like anger. Uh, meat tenderizer, dark dagger, all this stuff. Along with, along with a random rapier in here. Not sure what that is. I don't know how good it is either. All up to dragon. This next is the magic store. Pretty self explanatory with the runes and the stabs and armor and such. Same with the range. Two shots here, weapons. Weapon and armor. And then you got the ammunition. Which is all the bolts and such. Nether bolts. It's like a model. It's all messed up there. This is where you repair your borrows. Uh, supplies. Where you get your pots and food and junk. Also your two bill cash tickets. Uh, skilling. This is self-explanatory again. A bunch of skilling stuff. And then it's your Slayer Master, where you can get your Slayer tasks and all that sorts of stuff. As long as rewards, pretty decent rewards. Nice and unique with Bone Crusher. That's also very nice. And weird armors, not sure why those are in here. Doesn't make any sense. But yeah, Fire Cape and such. Milestones, this capes and such. Uh, loyalty Shop, this is where you can spend your loyalty points. Don't let that fool you. Only I don't have any at the moment. It sucks. You can get titles and costumes. That's really nice. The basket goes for a lot. There's the PV PK master. You can sell artifacts and spend PK points. Buy Venge runes, barrage runes, and just random stuff in here. Where you can get curses and 
can use bones on here as well as switch your spell books. I'm not sure why that's like that. This is where you kill these. Same deal with the uh, monkeys, except these drop crystal keys, which you can use on that chest over there for more random junk. Not really junk, it's some good stuff. Let's try and get a makeover. Let's get a makeover now. Uh, let's see. Get some nice hair. Let's get clean shaven, a shirt. Hands don't change apparently. Legs. Feet don't change either apparently. Gray hair. Red, black, yeah. Okay, that's random skin colors. Alright, also it's the voting shop where you can, when you vote, you get a mystery box and $1 million as well as, no, you don't get a mystery box, you get two voting point ticket, two voting points, a million, and a million GP, which best thing to spend it on is right here, mystery box or custom keys, great. Um, or Ring Wealth. Ring Wealth is also nice. Whips are pretty obsolete because you'll see why, as because there's a lot of brutal whips out there. Um, these are donor clicks. You can buy for buy do, uh, clicks where you just click on the chest, give you some nice items, and that's where you use your custom keys. So yeah. That's home, so let's get on to uh, teleports and such. Oh, well, commands. That's what you need. Commands. You can prestige rare zones where you can go and just get rares. Kill things for rares. Pretty difficult place to be. You gotta have a nice prayer. Or you can just sit, donate, rules, uh, yell. You can yell at any rank, which is nice. Change your password. Empty your inventory. Don't want to do that quite yet. May come to handy later. Uh, this just throws a message up saying you're AFK. Empty. Uh, don't know why that's on there twice. Players. So there's a players online. Vote. Or you can vote. Pretty sure that's on here twice as well. Oh, guess not. But yeah, vote. That's great. Train. That just teleports you right over here in that area right there because that's where the rock crabs are. Uh, let's see. My prestige it shows you your prestige level and points. Wings, so you can get wings. Those are nice. As long as wings too, where you get the new wings. C keys so that puts you here. Cosmetics is where you can just go and kill things for nice cosmetic items just to look swagger. Uh, rares too. Second rare zone because there's so many of them. PK God. He has a lot of PK gear. Drops all PK gear as well as Dragors, I'm pretty sure. Infliction drops Dragors and God bows, but he's super hard along with Ares. Uh, custom zone, where you can get custom Piats, Halloweens, and Senna's. And Torva zone, that'll, that'll come in handy to get nice gear. Alright, let's, uh, excuse me, let's move on. So, these are accessible at any level. That's how you get to monsters, Polyboard Dungeon, Blue Dragons, The Works. Oops. Experiments and Strike Worms, those are nice. And then mini games. Don't know how this works really, because it shows up difference. Oh, did okay, so it's, I guess they fixed it, because normally if you hover over pest control, it'll show like Barbarian Assault or something. It was weird. Uh, yeah, those are the mini games. You can do those later. Uh, PK. Oh, PK teleports. Okay, so that just teleports you to Edgel, where you can talk to the PK master. Is here as well. Uh, boss teleports. There are a, a few more, but they're commands. Same with the generic boss teleports. All right. Uh, let's see. Skill teleports, those are also come in handy. Just get, uh, go to all the skilling levels. And, um, let's see. City teleport. 
uh, just get saw all the t all the cities and such. Became um, only two at the moment, multi zone and fun PK. Multi zone is pretty close to green dragons, and fun PK is I've never been here. I see. I think it's just, yep, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, it's here. Pretty self-explanatory. You don't lose items here. Um, no clue what this is. Well, this is pretty cool. I guess. May have to come here later. Some cool stuff. Skeletal. Pretty sweet. Let's see if I can go in. Apparently that doesn't work. Let's see if you can reach that. I guess not. I'm sure you get in there. But uh oh well. Let's get home to train. Alright, let's do it. Um, I think I'm just gonna pause here until I get like a decent level in all these, like 60 or something. And uh, I will see you then. Alright, guys, I'm getting close to the 60 in all melee. I have upgraded my gear a bit with the uh, rune in the helm of Netsy and the dragon. So, uh, it's 58, getting there. I will be getting prayer in one of the episodes coming up because that's super important when it comes to killing the higher PCs, uh, NPCs that we're going to need to kill. It's stuck for no reason. Uh, XP on the server is pretty nice. It's not too hard, not too difficult. It's a nice balance. Uh, let's see. We're going to get there. Okay, so there's 59. Oh, while we're waiting, let's see. This is the quest tab, shows the players online as long as click to vote and uh, points handler, all the information. Oh, there's 60 right there. Perfect. Um, yeah, it shows you all these things 200 points, all these points, these points. And uh, so there's 60. I think I'm going to vote and show you guys what you can get from the mystery box, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I voted, and so I'm going to claim it now, just colon colon claim. And uh, so look, I got the vote package with the uh, two vote points and such. Then I got Torog's Helm, so that's right, you do get a, a box of sorts. And uh... So yeah, let's buy the mystery box because that's super important to get. So what we get? Ooh, fighter's torso. That's really nice. That's uh, pretty good. All right, so I think that's I'm gonna wrap it up here for this episode. Got a lot done today. Got to show you guys around home. 60 stats and uh, pretty decent start out gear. Uh, Alright, so just leave a comment and like if you enjoyed, and uh, subscribe if you want to keep up with the series, and uh, deuces.